Hello and uh, welcome to this part number 20 of this uh, the most realistic English communication English speaking course. As I told you dear friends that I'm going to take sessions on my new board which will help to speed up my uploading process and you can see more videos. So this is video number 20 dear friends. In this video I'm going to speak about as you can see on the board behind me mastering pronunciation. Pronunciation or pronunciation? What is that? That is what I'm going to tell you today. How to work on pronunciation and how to master it. But as you know, every time uh, in my all sessions, I focus on psychology. So we are going to understand the psychology behind pronunciation and also we are going to understand the techniques about how to pronounce a word properly and how to be a better pronunciation of pronunciator of a word. Sorry for that. So let's move ahead. The second slide is here. And as you can see here, the fear of making wrong pronunciation is there in every us, everyone. Now what have everyone has this problem? What we do is we, we are very nervous about making mistakes while speaking in English, you know? I mean, even forget the pronunciation, even if, if we make mistakes while, uh, you know, speaking properly or if we uh, do some grammatical mistakes, if we do some spelling mistakes, we feel like as if we have done some crime some big thing has happened, a catastrophe has happened and we panic and we get nervous. This is applicable to every aspect of English, especially in English and especially in countries like India or Southeast Asian countries from wherever you're watching this video. So we have to work on that first. See here why we have this fear of making wrong pronunciation because we have a natural inborn tendency of holding rigid beliefs. I'm using the word natural inborn tendencies. We are naturally wired for thinking irrationally, thinking in a wrong way, thinking in self-hurting way. And that is called as a rigid belief. Rigid, opposite to rigid, the word is flexible. Okay? <coughs> flexible. We are not holding flexible beliefs, we are holding rigid beliefs. And these rigid beliefs are the main reason why we disturb ourselves. While pronouncing any word, you hold a belief in your head. That is, I, see here, the rigid, I must, I must pronounce every word properly. And if I don't do that, if I make a mistake, oh, hell is going to be loose. Catastrophe will be there and problem will be there, I will be humiliated, I will be insulted and it's a big, 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 big problem. This is the reason why we get nervous while speaking and especially while pronouncing any word which you are not familiar with. We need to change this and adapt a flexible attitude towards pronunciation. Flexible attitude means what? Flexible means, okay, I will try to give my 100%, but sometimes if I mispronounce the word, it's okay. Sky is not going to fall. All hell is not going to break loose. And it's fine. It's absolutely fine. And when people judge me based on my pronunciation, it's their problem, not my problem. Let them judge. I can't do anything about that. But only pronunciation is not going to define my personality. If I pronounce any word in a wrong way, this does not mean that I'm a failure, I'm a stupid, I'm illiterate, uneducated person. It does not say anything about my personal life. Only the thing is, I have pronounced a word wrong way, I will work on that and I will be better. This kind of flexible belief, thinking, attitude, we should inculcate if you want to be a good pronunciator. And that is what is required here. The first point was psychological. Hope you got my point. So next time onwards, be flexible, about your pronunciation, don't be rigid, don't must yourself, I must pronounce each and every word perfectly and if I do a mistake, it's horrible and it's terrible, nothing as such, it's simple language, don't make it complicated, don't make it rocket science. In rocket science, there should not be any errors, but this is just a language to communicate, don't make it bigger than life. Let us move ahead now. Now the thing is somewhat technical now, I'll tell you about pronunciation, but let me tell you something about 
pronunciation, only 5% words are required. I mean, you have to focus only on 5% of the words which we use in every conversation for pronunciation. Otherwise, 95% of the words are very simple words. We don't need difficult words. See, pronunciation problem only comes when a word is new to you and the pronunciation is somewhat weird, unusual, which you don't know before. See, uh, what, is, what is the pronunciation problem? Pronunciation, we don't know because we haven't, we aren't, I will say, familiar with the word. And I will tell you how to be familiar with the word. So understand there are simple words. See, look at my English now. I'm speaking very easy English. Many people say to me that, sir, you know, we love the way you speak on YouTube. You speak so simple, so easy, we can understand that. And I think that's what uh, English is all about. Making it simple, making it less complicated, making it um, simple to understand. We are not here to impress anyone. We are here to express our feelings our thoughts and our ideas. Okay, when you take out that uh, impression uh, tendency to impress someone while speaking in English, you will speak better English. But you are always here to try and impress someone, then there will be a problem. You will not speak naturally and you will make mistakes. This is the point. So simple words are there. Hardly 5% words are there, which we have to work on. And I'll tell you after that, after this slide, what I want to say is, this is a seven step process for learning and mastering pronunciation. I will not use the word mastering, um, uh, you know, building, I'll say, building your pronunciation. Mastering uh, will have perfection in that and I, will, I don't like perfection because there is no perfection. So let us see the first step. You can see here the first step is read the word in a sentence. Whichever the word you don't know about, the, don't know the pronunciation about, you have to read the word in a sentence. You can see it one example I have given you. The law and order situation of this area comes under his <coughs> what jurisdiction? 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 What? What is the pronunciation? Don't know, right? Okay. So don't worry, first step is this, that you should read. Okay, now there is a problem, we don't know the pronunciation of this word. Now, let us move ahead, come here, and the second step is there. You must know the meaning now. First, you should know the meaning of the word. Okay, once you know the meaning, then the next step is pronunciation. So what is the meaning of this word? The meaning of this word is your authority, your limit, your area. Suppose you are a collector and your area under control is called as what is the word? Jurisdiction. Jurisdiction is the proper pronunciation. But how do I know? Here it is. The third step is use Google or any other digital dictionary where pronunciation audio facility is available for you. And today I feel like it's so easy to learn English. I mean, we have so many facilities. Smartphones are there and uh, online digital dictionaries are there and you can just go over there and understand the pronunciation. When I started working on my communication some 20 years before, all these things were unheard of. They were not there. I remember I, I used to refer a dictionary. I think you also maybe have used, if you are of my age, of course, 40 years, the Oxford Dictionary, we had to open that, find alphabetically the word and go there and then find out that word. And then there was uh, the the, pneum, the mnemonic, it was. It was written in the alphabet, alphabetical form. We have to try and pronounce that word. It was hard, very weird, very difficult. It has become so easy, dear friends. Only what you need is focus, consistency, attitude, discipline, and consist and focus. Nothing else. Only just well, that is what you need. <sighs> once you do that, once you understand the pronunciation, like jurisdiction, the next step is very crucial. Say it loudly. Say that word loudly. Say with me, jurisdiction, all of you. Jurisdiction. Say it loudly, jurisdiction, jurisdiction. Say it five to ten times out loud. Yeah, it is like a school. We have to go to school. I mean, you know, have you seen those school, kids in school? They say it loudly in school. The poems and the rhymes, they recite loudly. The tables, they recite loudly. Why? I mean, they are just uh, getting their pronunciation better. Their vocal cords in shape. So you have to read it loudly. And I told you, you are not required to go with all the words. Few words are there, hardly 5% of the words need proper pronunciation. Otherwise, 95% of the words right now, which I'm using are simple words, as I said before. So this is the step. After that, the next step is keep a sticky note at a strategic location. 
at a strategic location and say it out loud whenever possible. This you have to do it. Don't say that, sir, there is any other shortcut for this. No shortcut is there. Please don't search. Okay. Build that ritual, build that habit of uh, uh, making sticky notes and write down the word. Okay. Jurisdiction. And whenever you see the word, say it loudly. Jurisdiction. 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 Say it loudly. Five, ten times. You can, you can paste this in front of your mirror, in front of the fridge, wherever, wherever it is. Okay. Go and buy some sticky notes and paste them and write down and then see the magic what happens. But next step is there. Now this word should be around you. This word must be, uh, uh, you know, you should listen that word frequently. Otherwise you are going to forget the pronunciation. This word you should hear because pronunciation again is the result of listening more and more. If you are surrounded with people who use this word, I mean who speak with you and who use this word jurisdiction regularly, you will be able to master that word, the pronunciation of that word. But unfortunately, we don't have that surrounding for that. I have told you that you have to go with podcast and audiobook listening. If you don't know about these videos, link I have given in the description, find those videos and you will understand how to listen a podcast, how to listen an audiobook. When you listen that audiobook, this word will be repeated. Jurisdiction will come. Not exactly that will come, but some words will come. I'm not saying that only that word. Okay, if you have that problem, then one more tip I'll give you. Record your voice in your mobile. Re record. Jurisdiction. Record that. Jurisdiction. And play that. Play again and again and again. 10 times, 20 times in a day. Do it for 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 15, 20 days. Then see magic what happens. That gives really amazing results. Alright. So this is one method, but podcast listening is also going to help you where the word will be revised there. This word gets automatically revised. And then the last and most important thing is this. See here friends, it is said that if you don't use, you lose. If you don't use, you lose. You have to use that word. How will you use it? When will you use it? Only when you speak up. If you don't speak, what's the point? Now you will say that, sir, we don't have surrounding. Well, um, I don't have any answer for this, but we have a amazing system, I will say in the world, I'm proud of this, where we have students from all over India and all over the globe, where we come together and we have just created this amazing surrounding where people help each other, they support each other, they motivate each other, they help each other, they don't criticize, they don't mock. They are like family. It's called as the DNA family. If you want to join that, my session, all the description and links are given there. You can just contact my staff, my team members, and they will help you out to get in. So, you have to have a surrounding to use that word. Otherwise, that word will be only in your head and not on, on, on the tip of your tongue. So, speaking is very crucial for that. You should speak. When you speak, this word will be used regularly. And then this word will be familiar to you. You will not feel, you will not find it difficult to use it. Initially, you have to force yourself. But afterwards, no problem at all. You will use it naturally. So, guys, these were the seven steps which you have to follow. I come back again. I will show you the seven steps. First, read regularly. When you find out a word, find out the meaning of the word. Uh, vocabulary development is very important. I will take more sessions on this. After that, go ahead and find out the meaning of the word. Then the next step is understand the pronunciation of the word using a Google dictionary or any other digital dictionary. After that, once you understand the pronunciation, say it out loud. Saying it loudly is very important. Say it out loud, loudly, like a small kid. Do that. And the next step is make a sticky note. Put it in front of your fridge, in front of your uh, uh, wall, which is at a strategic location. Even uh, above your uh, bedroom, on the ceiling, you can put it. Uh, no, it's difficult, I think. It will be difficult. Don't do that. Okay. Put it on the fridge. Okay. And then... Next one is listen the podcast or record your voice. Record the pronunciation in your mobile and listen. One thing I would like to tell that it needs some discipline, some discipline, some consistency. Okay, guys. And last step is speak up. Speak more and more and more. So, guys, in this way, pronunciation is developed. In future, I'll come with some better videos. But remember one thing at the first I told you is the psychology. It's very important. You are a fallible human being. You are going to make mistakes. You are not required to pronounce each and every word correctly. If you make a mistake, don't feel guilty about it. 
feel bad about it not guilty guilty is uh, guilt is high uh, extreme emotional reaction which we don't need we need low intensity emotional reactions that is feeling bad about feeling concerned feeling worried about not feel guilty about it otherwise next time you will not speak because you will keep on worrying about what is what people will think about my pronunciation all right and even if you make a mistake that's fine don't worry about that in this way you improve yourself thanks a lot for watching this video dear friends it was pleasure talking to you and i will keep on uploading more videos now my frequency of uploading will be higher and higher and higher take care and goodbye all of you thank you